ask, you know, about various guns, you know, whether it be a Beretta, whether it be, um, you know, Smith & Wesson, whether it be Glock, whether it be SB9 or various other things. And uh, they see the price and they kind of get scared of it or, or feel like they can't afford it at the moment. So I thought I would do something that's, that's, that's basically a budget uh, a budget friendly gun. Something that's going to keep you uh, safe for the most part and still not break your uh, wallet or your pocketbook if you will. So I thought I would just throw something together real fast just to give you a quick uh, preview and, and let you know what you get, what you can afford or what you can get in the long run. Nothing major, nothing in law. I'm just going to move by pretty fast. Show it to you, let you know uh, what they are. Uh, right now, with everything that's going as far as that go. So if you can find anything that, that, that basically is in the store and uh, you know you can ask your questions uh, to the owners and various persons that are there to help you out and, and just see what you get in the long run. Because right now, with everything that's going on, it's kind of hard. It's trying to hard getting uh, what you may won't have gotten. So you got to do a bunch of hunting and look around to see at uh, various stores what you can get. But first on the scene, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm going to do, uh, matter of fact, why don't we go with this Smith & Wesson 40 cap. Smith & Wesson 40 cap. Smith & Wesson 40 cap. It's SD9 VE. She's uh, black. Got a little chrome on it. Nice smooth gun. It's chambered in nine millimeter. You know what I'm saying? Smith and Wesson SVE. Love this. Love this right here. Uh, had this for some time. I had the 40 cal. That's why I said 40 cal a few moments ago. But I had the matching 40 cal to go with this with a laser on it. Uh, but I sold it some time ago. I think I'm gonna try to buy it back just to, uh, or purchase one just like it, just to uh, have a matching set. This is the Smith & Wesson SBE 9. Uh, this is a budget friendly and reliable gun. Cause you know anything about Smith & Wesson? Smith & Wesson are, you know, they're good. They're good reliable guns. You can shoot it. She's good to go. Uh, I hadn't had any uh, jams on it. No kind of malfunctions on it whatsoever. Put you know, uh, a bunch of rounds through it, and she still was all right. Got regular sights on the top, nothing major, no night sights. Um, it comes with, you know, of course, everything normally comes with two mags. It's 15 shots. You put one in the chamber, that's 16 total. And this gun will probably run you. Now, this is not the pandemic uh, numbers. Uh, this is basically what I paid for it at the time, some years back. So it probably ran me about, I don't know, 260, 270 something of that nature like that, um, you shouldn't pay. Well, depending upon what's going on there, you might pay a little bit more uh, supply and demand. That's, that's how that worked right there. But overall, it's about 270, you know what I'm saying? Some change, three and some change, no more, no less. But this is a good weapon, good weapon. Nice, you know what I'm saying? Nice, reliable. Let me stop and pause for you. For those that are just now getting involved with guns and, and, and you're buying guns, you're purchasing guns, et cetera, et cetera. And you see this right here. I don't know if it'll focus in real well. There you go. That's where you want to put your finger, your pointing finger. You never want to put your finger on the trigger unless you are intending to shoot it. So for those that are just now, I probably end up doing a, a, doing a video or vlog about um, what I should do or what you should do if you want to purchase a firearm, if this is your first time ever holding a firearm, etc., etc., then, you know, I'm going to suggest you to go ahead and go to the store, get you a play gun, and you work on your safety. Uh, break that habit, because I know in our neighborhood and our community, uh, for those that have had guns like that, we normally we always kept our finger on the trigger, and that's how you have misfires, that's how you have accidents, the whole nine yards. So you want to take your time and put your finger right here and practice Practice placing your finger right there. And uh, with this particular gun, even if you're left-handed and pedestrian, you are able to put your finger right there on that side as well. So left or right, this gun provides you with the ability to put your finger and allow it to rest there. Because again, you never pull your finger on the trigger until it's time to shoot. So if you don't practice that on a regular basis, you can end up hurting yourself or hurting somebody else. So this is just a Smith & Wesson SD9 VE. Uh, nice grip on it. I love the, you know, how it feels in my hand. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a decent size. You know what I'm saying? You can still conceal carry it. 
uh, but it's not the smallest and it's not the largest as well. Just a nice moderate size and it will get the job done. So again, you're probably paying $270, 280 uh, to purchase this gun. Again, it's about uh, 15 uh, shots or 15 rounds uh, with one in the head to make it 16. And uh, it's nice. It gets the job done, feels great, looks good, and uh, you can't go wrong with it. That's Smith & Wesson SD9VE. Take a look at it one more time. Nice moderate gun, she look good, she's able to rock and roll, and it's reliable. So again, it's about 270, 280. Don't know what you're gonna pay for the pandemic prices at this point in time, but that's what I paid for it at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get the elephant out the room. The elephant out the room. And for those who know anything about guns or collect guns or have seen guns along the way, we all know what this next gun is. This is a high point. A high point Luger 9. Uh, and, and this is the elephant in the room because. Everybody know how weighty, how bulky, how big these guns are. Um, but at the same time, you know, not for nothing, they're still reliable at the end of the day. You know, I, I can't put it or stress it no more. People who buy high points, you know, it's a, it's, you know, it's different types of people. You know, you got somebody who's never been into guns, don't have any kind of budget whatsoever, or they, you know, they do have a small budget, so they go to the uh, store to get a high point or get a gun that they can afford. And these guns roughly sell about, I don't know, you can get them for, um, I seen one in the store the other day for $199, 200 That's too high for me to pay for a high point uh, handgun, nine. I think it was a 45, but still, that's still pushing the limit for me. You can get them for $129, $150. Uh, depending on where you go, you might get it for $99. These are budget-friendly guns. You know, they're, if, you, if you never held one, it's going to be heavy. It's definitely going to be heavy. Uh, in your hand, but again, at the same time, uh, these guns right here have they proven to hold up? You know, yes, I got it on fire. I don't have anything in there, and if you, I guess I have to show you as well. Nothing in the chamber, nothing, nothing there. But again, these guns hold up very well. You know, we put a bunch of rounds through it, and still no misfires, no you know uh, shell casings, you know logging up or nothing of that nature. Only problem is basically is that. Uh, like I said, it's bulky, uh, it's big, you know, as far as that go. But at the end of the day, if you need something to help, you know, fight, I mean, you know, you just got to do what it is. I, I kind of laugh and I say this is the kind of gun that you buy when somebody threatens your life and, and, and they're going to try to, you know, pursue harming you and you don't have nothing else to get. So you got to run to the gun store to get something to protect. This is what that is. This is a high point Luger 9. Uh, I got the extended clip for it, though. I mean, I'm sorry, the extended magazine for it. It holds about 10. Yeah, it holds about 10 rounds. You put one in the head, that's 11 rounds. Got the extended magazine for it. I've had this gun for some time. I've had a, a, another high point before. I think I got rid of it uh, a long time ago. I think I'm going to end up buying um, the whole shebang of the high points and just having them as a collector's item uh, because everybody laughs at them. The high points are basically like your friend... Uh, your friends that 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 they mean well, but they never take it to the next level to plan or to put goals out there or to see things differently. But at the same time, you still call on them because they're reliable. That's what it is about this right here, the high point. A lot of people got a lot of negative things to say with it, but at the same time, if the gun still can go pow, if it still can do what it needs to do, it's better than a rock. You know what I'm saying? So again, take a look at that. That's that high point. Luger 9. Again, I got the extended magazine for it. Uh, 10 shots. Uh, put one in the chamber. You will have 11. It's a bulky weighted gun, but at the same time, it still works. You see what I'm saying? It'll still put somebody down. It'll still, uh, uh, you know, uh, cover your life. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, put it out there. There's a war going on or whatever the case may be, but somebody come in your house, somebody threaten your life, etc., etc. You still can use this Um and I'm sure that it's still going to be better than, you know, a lot of other things, mace and, and a stick, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the high point. Again, I would not pay for an, a, a high point nine. I wouldn't pay no more than $130 for this. $130. I, I can't remember. That's probably about what I paid some years back. But I would not pay no more than $130 for a high point nine, uh, Luger 9. So if anybody's out there, again, this is a budget-friendly gun. Uh, not the best, but at the same time, it's still reliable. It's like that spare tire in your back car. 
Uh, you can use it to get to where you need to go, but it doesn't mean that you're supposed to travel across the country on it as well. But again, I got it. Uh, several other people have it. It's nice. You know, you see it. It fits in my hand. Again, I don't have massive hands, uh, but I don't have small ones either. But it fits. It's just weighted. It's real good, though. Fits good. Looks good. Does what it needs to do at the end of the day, so you can't go wrong with that. So that's a high point. Uh, Luga 9. Let's see. What am I going to go to next? Why don't I pull out a Taurus? Because I like Taurus. You know, they're pretty good. This right here is a Taurus uh, G2X. This is my G2X. Taurus G2X. Uh, this is my G2X. My Taurus. Got it with the hunter green on it. Black handle. She looking sexy for the most part. Uh, this is a small frame gun as well. Now, this is a good concealed carry uh, for those who want to conceal carry. You see how that is in my hand? This is a good concealed carry. Again, no mags in there. Don't have anything in the, in the chamber. Uh, this is a small, so compact uh, firearm, but this is chambered in, in a 40 cal. This is chambered in 40 cal. Even though it's small and sleek for the most part, this is chambered in 40 cal, just slightly larger than a nine millimeter. Uh, it shoots about, only real problem for me, uh, it only holds about six, six in the mag. I got, you know, I got an extra mag over there. It only holds six in the mag. Put one in the head, that's seven. Uh, but this is a good concealed carry uh, gun for that for that matter. You know, you can put it, jump on your motorcycle, you know, put it on, uh, you know, you dip in and out of various places that you got to go. People won't see it on you. It's real good. It got some bang to it. It's sleek. Um, it's a Taurus. And if you know anything about Taurus, Taurus, they're pretty legit. You know, a lot of people, depends on your opinion. Depends on what you're looking for, what you like, what you don't like. Somebody might like this, somebody might like that. Don't make it wrong either or. You just get a feel for it. You take a look at it and you see if it's going to fit you for whatever your purposes and your needs might be. But for me, uh, I normally take this as my concealed carry uh, on a regular basis. I'm in and out. You know what I'm saying? I keep the extra mag on me. So that's like 14 shots uh, all together. You put one in the head in each one. And uh, I, I love it. Again, this is where my finger rests at. Again, if you have a, your, your firearm, you want to consistently uh, practice your finger control so that you will not put it on the trigger and that you will break that habit of putting your finger on the trigger. And that way you will not uh, shoot somebody or possibly harm yourself in the long run. So that's what that notch right here is for. To put your finger right there. And have it on the other side as well. To be able to rest your finger there whenever you're not using it or shooting it. Uh, that's where you want to keep it at. So this is the 40 cal. This is the Taurus uh, G2S. I want to say, and this is, is chambered in 40 cal. I want to say I paid probably about two and some change for this uh, at the gun store. Came with you know, extra mags, the whole nine yards. I want to say I paid about 200 and something for this gun as well. But it's a nice, sleek look. Um, Concealed carry weapon is good, you know, even for if you have your wife or girlfriend or whomever that is just coming upon the scene and, and, and they want to use a firearm, this is a good firearm to get them uh, for yourself as well. You know, you can't go wrong whether you're male or female. This is a good little firearm to, to start you off with. It has a thumb safety right here. It has a thumb safety right here. That way, you know, uh, if you are concealed carry, you may, you know, be afraid of, you know, possibly shooting yourself, depending on how good you are uh, with your draw. That's another thing I like to tell people. If you do conceal carry, spend some time trying to draw because you want to make sure that you are ready whenever the time is right. Keep practicing so that you can do it. Just like in the old west, how they used to practice on the draw. You want to do that as well because there's no need. You're not going to have time to pull your shirt up. Pull it out. The bad guy's not just going to stand there and wait for you to get ready. You've got to practice on that and make sure you're able to do what you need to do. Again, uh, this is a nice little sleek uh, gun. Taurus uh, G2S. Uh, thumb safety right here. I love the little green. Nice little green on it with the black at the top. And uh, she's pretty legit. I like it for the most part. The, 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 the trigger is, you know, a little sketchy in my opinion in the sense of because we got another safety right here you got to pull that all the way back and then it fires but if you're not practicing with it whenever you pull it all the way back and you're waiting for it to fire it can mess your aim up and that's i guess one of the bad things about it of course you can switch it out but 
um, just know that before you purchase it. Uh, and again, just like with any gun that you're gonna get, period, you're gonna take it to the range, take it behind the house, whatever the case may be, and you're gonna learn how to shoot with it so that you can be uh, ready for anything that pops off. So again, this is the Taurus G2S, chambered in 40 cal, and uh, got seven shots, six in the mag, one in the head, and this is a nice concealed uh, weapon and it'll get you where you need to be. Also, boom, 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 boom. Um, I'm gonna hold that. No, matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull it out now. Also, I just got my hands on uh, a gun or firearm that has been uh, for some hard to find, depending on what part of the state or the country that you're living in at this moment. Uh, and one of the reasons why it's hard to find now, a lot of people have gone to this particular gun to use it because of how uh, sleek it is, how many it holds. Uh, and again, it's another Taurus. This was the Taurus, or is the Taurus G2X, chambered in 40 cal, uh, six in the mag, one in the head, seven shots. This is the Taurus. This is the one that everybody's been, you know, checking out or have had, and they loved it now. This is the Taurus G2C. G2C. I want you to take a good look at that. Uh, G2C is almost reminiscent of this Smith & Wesson. It's almost like a little smaller version of the Smith & Wesson SD9, if you will, especially in this particular platform and color. But this is the G2C Taurus. And this is another nice concealed weapon. This is chambered in nine millimeter. And it looked identical, if you would, with this G2S. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it's about the same, the same size, you know, almost the same platform. You know, you look at them, they have the same setup, about the same height. All of those good things. Taurus did a, 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 a great job with both of these. But this Taurus uh, G2C, what it does come with is, of course, extra mags, but it comes with 12 rounds, 12 rounds. One in the head makes 13. So though it's the same size as this uh, Taurus G2S, though it's the same size and, and, and they're pretty sleek and they look the same, this G2C has more rounds, even though it's a smaller uh, damage and bullet or round, but it does have more. So if, if you're not used to shooting or, or, or you think that maybe if something happens that I need to use this and be able to get off more shots, then this is what you want to get. This is now one of the most popular uh, concealed uh, weapons that people are buying. A lot of people are, are even, you know, not necessarily leaving, leaving Glock, but a lot of people and newcomers, uh, first time gun owners are grabbing this gun and they're utilizing this more so than any other gun that's out there. That's why they're hard to find. They have another version of G3 uh, that people are jumping on as well. But at the same time, this is a nice sleek gun. A lot of men are asking, what kind of gun should I get my wife or, or, or wife, girlfriend, whomever, asking for a gun as well. This is a good starter gun for you to get. Good conceal. Uh, carry it, but at the same time, it still has, you put the, load them up them hollows, still has a good stopping force and get you where you need to be with 13 shots, 12 in the mag, one in the head. So this is nice sleep. It's good to go, G2C, same thing, same as this other Taurus right here, uh, the G2S 40 cal, same thing, nothing in the mag, nothing there as well. But this is the same setup. Again, the biggest problem at this moment uh, that I have with it is just the trigger pull, the drag on the trigger pull that, you, you know, you pull it, you pull it, you pull it, and then it finally shoots. It has another safety right here, so you have to put your hand on that. That's a good thing. That's what they implemented in order to keep safe. But at the same time, you got to pull uh, a little while before it goes off. So if you're not steady, if you're not concentrating, if you hadn't practiced enough, once you keep pulling it back, if you're not ready, it's going to mess your aim up. So again, make sure you go to the range, take it outside of your house, wherever uh, you're at um, that's feasible for you to shoot guns and use that so that you can get um, committed to whatever your gun is and use it accordingly and just get familiar with it. No matter what gun you have, no matter how big, how small it is, it's not going to do you any good if you're not familiar with your own firearm and not be afraid of it. It still fits pretty good. Finger is, uh, is lagging some just because I don't have the magazine in it, but once I get the magazine in it, my hands fit well on it, even though it's a small gun. Finger resting right there, got the sights on it, nothing major. Um, it still has the rail for you to put um, a laser if you like, or you can put a flashlight up there if you like. Same thing with this one as well. You can put the rail on, I mean the rail is on it for you to put those other ops on it, so it's not bad at all, you know. Uh, 
All of this looks pretty good, even, even the other stuff that I had there. So again, this is the Taurus uh, G2C. You know, this was hard to come by, at least where I'm at, at least where I'm at right now. You know, everybody's grabbing this. As soon as they get into the store, it goes right out. And uh, I was able to purchase this or grab this. And I think it was definitely, I think I caught it on a good deal. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I want to say that. I'm going to say, I'm going to put it like this. It might have been 180 to 220. Uh, I caught it on a real good deal. It might have been a 220 to the most. I want to say 180, but just for the safe side, I'll say 220 uh, is what this was. So this is a nice, efficient gun that you could have for a low price, reliable, and there everybody's on them. So I grabbed it just because I knew everybody else had it uh, in the sense, and I wanted to bring it to the platform on the vlog so that you can see what it is. Taurus G2C. Nice little gun, like I said, almost like a mini version of the Smith & Wesson, but it's not. Still good. Check it out. Taurus G2C. This is 12 shots, 13 with one in the head. One of the last ones I want to pull out is another Taurus. Uh, and this Taurus, because I might as well, because we have not uh, brought any of the... Mm, let me see. Well, we brought the other ones out there. But you definitely need a shells cleaner and what that simply means is uh a revolver you can't go wrong with a revolver this is my taurus 357 yes sir trade five seven now that little mud brown on it with the black handle that mud brown on it i grabbed it really because of that color the the uh camera's not doing it any justice you need to see it up front uh this thing is legit She's lovely. Yes, it's still loaded. You know, I could have taken the, 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 the bullets out of it just for the vlog, but I don't feel like it. So, it's been a long day. Take my word on it. She's legit. She feels good. I mean, this bad boy feels good in the hand. That grip on it is lovely. I mean, it is lovely. It feels good, good texture, and it is very light. This 357 is very light. Uh, and you need to understand the lighter the gun, the more the recoil is going to be. You know, when you shoot this bad boy, I had a 44 Taurus uh, some years back. Uh, and um, it was chrome. That bad boy was nice, man. And I ended up getting rid of it at some point in time. I've had several gun collections throughout the years. And I've either gotten rid of it or started them back or whatever the case may be. Uh, and that 44 Taurus, that bad boy used to kick. But this 357, man, and this platform right here, and it's light. This right here kicks, boy. I'm telling you. But again, it's the real deal, man. I'm trying to tell you, six shots on it. A uh, little sight at the top. She's good. Um, you can also, it's a 357, but just like some 357s, you can also uh, shoot your 38s in here. You know, it's a 357, but you also can shoot 38s in here. So if you feel like the 357 is kicking too hard or too much or it's not a good solid grip for you um, because of all the recoil and kick, switch it over, put the 38s in there. So you got two guns in one for the most part, and you can go from there. And, uh, man, I just love this gun right here. I want to say I paid 230 for this out the door at one of the uh, local gun stores that I go to. Out the door. I think it was like 230 Matter of fact, because I went down at a um, purchase an AK-47, and they had to order it. So while I was there, I drove down. I was like, I might as well grab something since I'm in the store. And because of this little mud brown, like I said, the camera's not picking it all the way up. It's like a mud brown, and uh, it just stood out. It looks real, real legit. And, you know, I'm always about something that's sexy, man. This gun is sexy. It feels good. Again, even though it's not uh, a gun with a magazine on it, I still rest my finger there. I do not put it on the trigger unless I'm intending to shoot something. Again, I can't stress it enough. Make sure that you are uh, practicing uh, your safety, your finger uh, training, just so that you can break the habit of putting it on the trigger. Because uh, that's how some people can get hurt and possibly shoot somebody. Well, that's all that I want to show you at Budget Friendly Guns. Again, I paid about $230 for this right here. Out the door, brand new. Uh, she's nice, 357. And you also shoot 38s. Uh, she's lovely, man. This right here, get the job done. Boy, when she go off, let me tell you something. Uh, whoever has the wrong purpose, if they're, if, they don't, if they're not using whatever they have to uh, harm you, let me tell you something. Even if they're, you know, thinking about it and not really all in it. When you hit this bad boy going right here, Hey, if your heart ain't in whatever you're trying to do, it's going to make you turn around. 
And you better not get touched by this. Because you get touched by this, boy, I'm telling you, boy. It's going to put something in you. This bad boy right here will make it do. I, I know to travel with this when I'm a, uh, whenever I'm in um, a certain car, what have you. You know what I'm saying? Keep shells in. You never know what might pop off. And uh, you never know what you might have to do. So other than that, man, I keep that. It's a nice little clean gun. 357. Pay about 230 out of the door. Just wanted to give you um, some guns to show you that everything is not, you know, $600 or more. Or seven hundred dollars or more, you can buy. You can find some nice, decent budget guns from two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars, uh, right there in the range of four hundred dollars, and still be legitimate. Still get the job done and make sure that you're covering your family. So other than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, don't just watch, but go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and like. When you like it, it pushes my videos up so other people can find them on YouTube. When you go ahead and subscribe, it, it helps me out. So if you do that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Push that notification bell. Push that notification bell. When you subscribe, push that notification bell so you will know when the next time I'm going to drop another video so that you can see it. My job is to help you with anything that I got. Again, this is just me bringing this to the table. I haven't gone into any, any detail or content of what I'm doing or how it's done or the specs on it. I just wanted to sh uh, quickly show you what uh, you could purchase uh, with a, bu a small budget and still be legit. Remember, nothing but love. We're praying for everybody that's out there. This is your boy, Chill Will. I salute you. I salute you. I want you to hold it down best way you can and let somebody know we out here and we're trying to make it. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.